Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm one of the authors of Technic.com. Today, we're going to continue with our course and we're going to be looking at how to set and manage permissions in Linux. All right, so permission is very important in any operating system operation. As an administrator, you will always want to safeguard the system against attacks, both externally and internally, and as well protect the system from accidental occurrences such as deletion of critical files or running of critical scripts that can break the system. So you need to be very um, um, conversant with permissions in Linux to do that. And also as, an, as the owner of a file or member of a group, you may also want to grant different kinds of permissions to your files, all right? So in Linux, every file has an owner and a group owner as well. So to fully understand how permission works in Linux, let's look at um, the attributes of a file. Okay, so let's um, look at the file etc fs tab. Let's use iPhone R. Okay, so you can see this file. And um, when you see a file like this, the first line of the file the first, this dash means that this file is a file. So what I mean is, if you see a D, it means it is a directory. So if I list, for example, if I do this, we can see directories and files. So the first line means it is a directory. Why? If you see dash, it means it is a file. All right. So we're looking at the um, FS tab file. So the second line, let me just go back to the um, website so uh, I can show you clearly. The second line, second, third, fourth, fifth to the end represents permission and they are grouped into three. So if you come here, you can see here where my mouse is. So you can see the read, write and the dash, which means nothing, right? We also have that that's grouped into um, the one, two, three is the first group, right? Then the four, five, six here, dash, r, dash. I mean, sorry, r, dash, dash. That's read, nothing, nothing. It's also grouped, it's also a group on its own. Why the seven, eight, nine? Read, nothing, nothing is also a group on its own. So the first group means user. So it means that um, the the, it means the user permission, I mean, sorry. So um, if you have read, write, execute, for example, it means um, the, the user can read, write, and execute. So in this case, we have read, write. So the first group means that the user can only read and write, you understand? And the last line, they cannot execute because the execute line is nothing, right? So the user of this, the, the owner of this file can only read and write, all right? So the second group, which is 456 here, means that um, it, it represents the group owner of the file. So it means that the group owner of this file can just, um, can just read, cannot write and execute, right? Because that is dash dash. And the third line here means that others the third line means other. So other people that will be accessing this file, they can only read, they cannot write nor execute. So I say again, first group means user, second group means group, why third group means others. So you, you can just use the acronym UGO, all right? Uh, that's a name actually in my uh, country, you go. So um, UGO, all right? And um how do you know the owner of a file and the group owner of a file? So when you check here, you can see that the, the, the next line after the permission will show you the owner of a file, which is root here. And the next line after the owner of the file will show you the group owner of the file, which is root also. So the owner of this file is root. The group owner of this file is also root. So you can see it here number 10 that's the owner why the group that owns the file is number 11 that's root all right 
Okay, quickly, if you're writing the RH CSA exam or the LFCS or the SUSE Linux exam, you can scroll down to the end of this website, then you can come and click the practice questions of the exams you want to write, all right? And um, we're going to be updating the website um, from time to time. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at how to change file permissions in Linux. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.